Okay, so here's our bin that we're using to attract flies. You can see a bunch on top. Bin down there with uh, some fish in there and some holes for the flies to get in and out. Some soil on the bottom so once the larvae hatch and uh, feed, they can go into the soil and pupate. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put my camera down there, take that block off the top. All right. So what's interesting here is watch what happens. When the flies try to escape, they all kind of move their way upwards, which means they don't actually fly out through the holes right away. So this makes it a real easy method to actually catch flies as well as get maggots to make uh, pupae. So what I would do is I would come in and I would actually just lift this bin up and put it right inside another bin, put the lid on it, trap the flies the, uh, in there, and that way when we release it into an enclosure, we're getting some flies to start as well as the uh, eggs and whatnot and the maggots that would be in there. Now these have only been in here about a day and a half, and I don't know that we'll see any maggots yet, but I would guess we'll start seeing them tomorrow. And so you see they're a little dry, so I'm actually going to put a little bit of water in there as well to try and make sure it stays healthy. So yeah, this is a pretty good system. Um, there's a bit of smell here, but not too, too bad actually. I think them drying out helps. Um, that's it.